For efficient and progressive airport development in Nigeria, privatization of the country's airport remains an option. Chairman House Committee on Innovation, Najin Nolim, says this will lead to harnessing of non-aeronautical revenues and enabling environment that will drive development of tourism in the country. Our correspondent Lilian Izimark reports. This is Martala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, one of Nigeria's gateways. International passengers' first impressions on the country are made here. Minister of Aviation Hadi Sirika is worried that airports managed by government are underdeveloped and grossly underutilized, leading to huge losses both in aeronautical and non-aeronautical sources. Also, some are not happy about poor infrastructure at the airports and lack of transit facilities for passengers connecting flights to other destinations. In Nigeria, we have, we have not exploited even up to 10% of the possible non-aeronautical revenue because our airports are not yet developed to the level of harnessing the revenue potential on the land side. Many results emanating from the corridors of air transport research shows that airport expansion and growth is in favor of private equity injection and management of airports are said to be more efficient under private uh, sector. The more airlines that come through your hub, the more revenue you make, the more money you make, the more people you can employ, and the better it is for the country. Because as the airport itself grows, you'll find that the state governments are compelled to improve the road leading to the airport. That creates employment. Shops will set up, hotels will be built along the airport road, or the road to the airport. It's all about employment. Others want government to explore public-private partnership and concession the country's airports, carrying along the workforce of Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria. Murshala Mohammed Airport International Lagos is being renovated from December. Let us have a customer-friendly airport so that you can go in, come out, enter your car without even a drop of rain touching you. We want an airport that the personnel that are managing it, the security personnel are friendly to customers. We want an airport that is very friendly. People can even visit their host meetings and even have dinner, lunch or whatever and go out. Benefits of privatization include rise in passenger traffic, diversification without government interference, operational efficiency, creation of incentives for management and employees. But for some, if the airports are to be privatized to usher in the desired changes, they want the exercise to be transparently done. The gains of airport concessioning in Nigeria are expected to include modern terminal, infrastructure upgrade, better revenue generation, and beautiful passenger experience. But the unions are kicking against the idea they are afraid it could lead to job losses. Almost 90% 90, 90 of uh, FAN resources have been concessioned out. Those concessionaires, they had agreements with FAN. Are they going to cancel those agreements? All these things are the things that we have to sit down and discuss. That thing can never be implemented. One, security-wise. Two, the area has already been concessioned. Three, there are a lot of depths outside. International Air Transport Association's research shows that privatization could lead to monopoly, imposition of high charges on airlines, passengers, and lack of consumer protection from the charges. Apart from job losses, other challenges of privatization in Nigeria are compromising of national security and the yet-to-be-reviewed art that established the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria. Nigeria's annual airport summit suggests steps that can be taken for a successful airport concession. These include unbundling of Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria to address the problems of job losses and unemployment. It also seeks a new development pathway for the airports to be more economical and sustainable. Lelian Ezemak, TVC News, Lagos.